Hi everyone, I'm Irma and in this video I'll show you how to create a custom product page using WooCommerce and Visual Composer. So I'll divide this video in three parts. First is going to be creating a product with WooCommerce. Then we'll add that product and all the information about it in a page that's created with Visual Composer. And then I'll show you how to make a custom add to cart button from Visual Composer and uh, entirely up to you how it looks. So let's get started with the product. So of course, obviously the first step is to get WooCommerce installed. Then we can jump into the computer. Here on the left side menu, you'll see the product section. So click there and on add new. Here we just have to write all the information about our product. It's going to be a coffee, by the way, the name of Battle Creek, then the description. And what we're going to add is a category, new roast, and an image, an image for the product. So it's this copy here. It's that simple. Of course, you can add more information if you need so, but that doesn't really fit my layout, which you'll see in a second. We need to open a page, and I've got one created here already. But at the moment, it just has placeholder text, no image, nothing in particular about the product. So for example, if you would have like a small shop you could create this one template. As you can see, it has a product name, category, description, everything you need for a product, everything simple. And you could get this just to set. You can actually save it as a template here if you want to, if you add a name. So what we're going to do to add the product, we're going to use this handy feature of Visual Composer, which is dynamic content. If you don't know what it is, it will take information from the source, for example, the product in our case, and they will sync up. So if you change anything in the product, it will change automatically here on the page. So let's say you want to change prices for some of the products. You just change them in the product section and they will automatically change here on the page. So let me show you that in action. Let's first start by adding an image here. Okay. And as you remember, it was from the product. So here is the uh, dynamic content little icon here. And if we switch the to toggle, we can choose where the information will come from. It automatically takes the post that we're on right now, but let's check what was the ID for this product. 214. So what we do here is write 214. And it found our product. Now, here we have to find what we want to take from that product. And for an image, obviously, it's the featured image. Save, and we've got it right here. So let's do the same thing for everything else. For the text, for example, you'll find the icon right here at the bottom. Again, let's choose the same product, Battle Creek. And here we'll need to find the category. Awesome. So. Now, for it to be the right, so the styling would stay the same. We have to find the same one it was before it was heading three. So again, same thing here. This is heading one, I think. Yeah. So this is the page name, 214. And this is, oh, no, sorry. This is the post title. And heading one. Perfect. As you see, it's, it's filling up really well. <laughs> so this is going to be the description. So what we need here is the same product, but it's going to be the description here. Yes, the right one. Same with price. So let's just quickly do that. There's a price tag right there. Two, one, four. And let's go for price. And we didn't set one. So let's go back to the product. And here we've got the price options. Yeah, it's going to be $13.99. I don't know why, but I think that's a good price for the coffee I've never tried before. So let's save that. Reload the page. And let's add it up again. So this was 214 and the price. 
And this, I think, was stage four. Yeah, that's it. Okay, at the moment, as you see, we've added all the information. It will change automatically. The next step, though, is to adjust this Add to Cart button so it would um, add the item to the cart. So you don't have to rely on any default styling of WooCommerce or your theme. You can customize it 100%. So, and it's super easy to do as well. We just click on edit and here in the link selector, we choose custom. And what you have to type in here, starting with this, I've got a placeholder here of a different product. And so what we do here is add this and here, instead of the numbers I've got now, we just write the one, the product that you want to be added to the card. And we're done with that. So let's check it out, shall we? Let's view the page. As you can see, I've used elements. Uh, this is actually a header template that I use with the logo and two menu items. Everything else is pretty straightforward. So we've got everything here, new rows, add to cart. And now the product is added to our cart. I'm using the Porto theme, by the way, just so you know, and that's it. A quick reminder, you can customize everything when it comes to Visual Composer. And another quick tip, if you are a Visual Composer Premium user, you can actually head over to the Visual Composer Hub. And we've got tons of custom elements for WooCommerce. There's a quick way to add a product, but the styling is a little bit more limited here. So we always suggest to go from scratch and build the site exactly how you want it to. But if you just want a quick shortcut, you can use any of these as well. So that's a pro tip from a Visual Composer user right here. And that's it. Now you should be equipped with all the knowledge you need to create custom pages. So if there's anything else you want to know about WooCommerce and Visual Composer, let us know in the comments and I'll make sure to cover that topic soon. So thank you all for watching and see you in the next one.